Oh my goodness. What is up my beautiful momars and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm making ramen french fries. What? First we're gonna boil some hot water and put in our top ramen packet. Yeah. There we go. Look at my ramen. Then I'm gonna strain this out. Perfect. Now I'm gonna get some chicken, put it in there. Yes. Mix some eggs together. Pour that over that. This is just one simple egg in each of these. Then I'm gonna put these into separate bowls. I got the noodles and I'm gonna put the packets in there for flavor. Mix it all up. Yeah. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that. All right. So after you've made your ramen, add your seasonings into the ramen. This is the next part. So I have two pieces of foil right here, right? I have my beef ramen right here. And I have my chicken ramen right here. All we're gonna do is take that concoction we just made, mixed up and made. We're gonna go ahead and put it right into the center of both of them like this. Ooh, I love ramen. It smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna take the beef one, put it directly in the center of the foil like that. And then I'm gonna spread it out a little bit and get it kind of into like a rectangular, squarish like shape. Come on, ramen. Come on. Okay, so once I have this all nice and like kind of square i I'm gonna go ahead and just fold it over the top just like this. And then I'm gonna fold this end right here. And make sure there's like definite, like a rectangular square shape to it on both sides. Squish it down like that. Then I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. I'm gonna go ahead and fold it down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go up and over. Up and over, and then pack the sides down again. Make it nice and square shaped. Just kind of like, you know, imagine the ramen when it's dry. Do the same thing like that again. You know, when it first comes in the packet, make it nice and square like that. All right, so now I'm gonna take it to the fridge and put it in there for about one hour. A few moments later. All right, guys, so I got this out of the fridge now, and I have my deep fryer warmed up at 375 degrees, right? So I have the frying pan right here. I'm gonna go ahead and open mine right here. <laughs> Okay, cool. And then I'm gonna take it and put it right in the fryer. Ooh, this is the beef one, I think. So I'm letting it fry. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is gonna be a crucial step in making the ramen fries. Hopefully they all stick together. If they don't, it's okay, but we, we just want some to like hold together from the egg. The egg is supposed to hold all that together. And then, so right now it's cooking. Ooh, it smells so good. Mmm, the seasoning packet is just making it smell so good. I wanted to make sure I used that. This looks good. It's kind of like spreading out a little bit, but it's okay. It's okay, we can still trim it up and make it beautiful. All right, so this is the beef one. It smells delicious, but you can see it's golden brown now. So I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna go ahead and plop it right here. Bam, put it directly onto my tissue paper. And now I'm gonna get the chicken one right here. I have it. Oh, it smells so good. I'm so excited about this. All right, so I have the chicken one right here. As you can see, it's like a square. Bam. And I'm gonna put it into my hot oil. Go chicken. Go chicken ramen. <laughs> it's cooking. Mmm, it smells good. All right, so this one is looking really good. Look how golden brown that is. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and just plop it right here. Boom. Pop it right next to it. Oh my goodness. It's like hard. It's all one piece. Let's go ahead and get to cutting. All right, for this next part, I have my beef ramen right here. And I'm just going to take a knife. I'm going to start cutting away at it. So this is like that part. I'm just going to cut off the parts that are like not part of the square, right? So that is all like the extra, the bonus ramen. So right here, I'm going to try to cut this into a little like french fry shaped things. Right here. I'm going to cut it right here. Alright, so I have all these little beef french fries right here. If you look at the center, it's gonna be a little chewy on the inside. I did that on purpose. I didn't want to cook it all the way through because I didn't want it to just be super crispy. I wanted it to be crispy on the outside and then a little bit chewy on the inside. But this just smells so good. And if you guys listen to that crunch, ready? Listen to this. Listen. Oh my goodness. So, I have this cute little cups and I'm just gonna put my ramen directly into them like this. So they're like cute little ramen french fry cups like this and i'm gonna do the same thing for the chicken one over here just gonna throw them in here bam bam boom boom chicken ramen french fries this is crazy this is insane right now nuts all right now for the sauces so i have my ramen french fries right here and then i'm gonna put some sriracha in this one and then I'm gonna put some ketchup in it to make ketchup sriracha or sriracha ketchup right in there. Then for this one, I'm just gonna make it just ketchup because I love ketchup, 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 ketchup. Yes.
Got you. Okay, so I got this one out. Wait, my chicken one went everywhere. Give me a second here. Give me a second. Okay, so I'm back. I got the chicken ramen run on this side, and then I got the beef ramen on this side with the sriracha ketchup and the normal ketchup. Let's try them. I'm gonna start off with the beef one. Here we go. I'm gonna try it in the normal ketchup. See, I, this is my first ever ramen french fry. Like, I was the kid who always used to eat the ramen raw in the bag. I put the seasoning, shake it up. So I pretty much know that this is gonna taste good. Like, I don't know. Unless something in the ramen is spoiled or something, I don't think I'm gonna dislike this. But I used to eat stuff like this. This is kinda cool. It's like, you can see it's kinda soft right here, but it's also so crunchy on the outside, so let's go. Oh my gosh, that is so good. I would eat this every day as an after school snack. Like, I don't need french fries anymore. I need just ramen fries. All right, I gotta try the sriracha ketchup now. All right, here it is, sriracha ketchup, beef ramen. Oh my goodness, this is so good, I love you. I'm reporting live from my kitchen right now. This is so good. This is the, the best experience I've ever had with a ramen. Like a ramen bun thing, like a ramen deep fried thing. I love this. I gotta try this this chicken one now. I'm just too excited. All right, so here's the chicken one. They came out pretty much perfect. Like, look at those. Boom, boom, putting it in there. Here we go. Oh my god. It's crispy, it's, it's chewy, it's ketchupy, and then there's chicken flavoring. I love this. If you love ramen, I promise you, you will love this. You can make this at home with your mamas. It's really easy. I gotta try it in the sriracha. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I'm not even gonna ask for likes on this video. I just want you to actually try this. Like, try making it because it's really that good. This is so crunchy. Like, chewy. It's my favorite things in life. French fries, ramen. The best hybrid combination ever. Yeah, it's so good. Guys, if I would have heard about these when I was younger, I promise you, I would have made these ramen french fries. This is like a dollar. You can get these at the dollar store. You add an egg, you put it in the fridge, and then you fry it, and then it's so crispy and chewy and delicious. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's really different than just breaking it up and putting it, like the ramen packet inside the bag because when you actually cook the ramen and you make it and you add the egg and stuff, it's like chewy, it's cooked, so it's kind of chewy on the middle. There's crunchy on the outside. It's blowing my mind right now, guys. This is so delicious. Mm -hmm. I gotta take these away and just eat the rest of them, so I don't got time anymore, but I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. If you love ramen, if you love cups, and you love ketchup, give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. Please try this, it is so good, I promise. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video. Peace!